What's up, Libra? This is Soul here. And Libra, this is your bi-weekly messages beginning October 8th and ending October 21st. Uh, for all the Libras who are celebrating their birthday during this two-week period of time, I wish you all a very safe and enjoyable birthday celebration. The reading is also for Libra Sun, Moon, and Rising as well. Okay, so we are into Libra season, so, you know... Um, normally good tidings for some, you know, if there's no karmic debt to uh, pay back what you put out there to others, whether it's good or bad, it comes back to you normally tenfold during your birthday season. <laughs> okay, so I hope everybody has been putting out some good energy. So we have, um, this is a new month, new cards I'm using. This is the 12 chairs tarot. It's a Russian deck. Uh, I don't recall the Russian's the Russian artist who uh, did this, I'm going to have to look it up. I, I do know, but I just can't pronounce his name. <laughs> so uh, just to save some face and save some time here. Uh, this is an out of print deck that was gifted to me from a good friend who uh, learned that I had an interest in the deck. All right. So everything and I had shuffled the cards very well using um you know reversals but you have no reversals here okay everything is in the upright position what starts off your energy for the two-week period of time uh libra is your energy the seven of swords in the upright position seven of swords is uh not only representing your energy but that energy of aquarius and gemini male or female so of course standard um information related to this um seven of swords relates to conflict but i don't always pick up that it could be some energy that you're uh having to uh, be dealing with in a two-week period of time and that conflict is with others also it could be conflict within yourself as well um <clears throat> just think of each sword as a conflict for you uh anyway Seven of Swords for me generally relates to uh, misplaced items, lost items, material things for me, even though it's the swords and not necessarily the pentacles. Still, I pick up material things. And also, too, it's a return of someone from your past or someone wants to return from your past. Uh, this imagery here it seems like he's pulling a cart full of, um, you know, uh, goods. And it's a struggle for him. Okay, so that could be the conflict uh, for some of you. Now, using different cards, I pick up different things. It could be that someone's conflicted because there's a lot of stuff going on when it comes to someone possibly moving in the next two week period of time. Uh, in the background here is a train. So there's a, a different someone could be uh, conflicted because they're moving to a different area. Um, that could be the case, but it's just examples that I'm throwing out and what I'm picking up from the imagery from these cards. And it's the reason why I like to use different cards, uh, because they tell me different things or they show me different things. All right. But it may not be something that, uh, is going to connect or relate to, uh, everyone that I'm speaking to, uh, seven of swords for me is generally, um, those things that I have mentioned. Things being picked up intentionally by accident, you know, lost keys, wallets, uh, material things. But, you know, in the upright position is the return of those things or things being found. OK, even if you, you know, set your keys down, set your wallet down or some important documents or papers and stuff and you forget where you put them at, then you know, for some strange reason you find them. OK, that's the return of the seven of swords. What's following that seven of swords, Libra, is the uh, king of pentacles. And the king of pentacles is in the upright position. OK, so this is representing the energy of Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, male or female. This guy is sitting at a table ready to feast on looks like a very uh, healthy dinner. Turkey, chicken, it could be chicken. But I'm trying to figure out why this man, there's a man on hanging on the tree looking inside <laughs> Uh, at this King of Pentacles. So I don't know um, just yet what that connection may be. But for me, generally, the King of Pentacles represents, um, you know, a business uh, opportunity. It also is a card of generosity, security and stability. Also could be because um, it is a core card. So it's an actual person could be your boss. It could be, you know, um, a banker. This is a good two week period of time to ask for any favors when it comes to uh, credit, 
any favors on the workplace in the workplace environment? The answer would be like a yes. Okay. And I feel that anyone who is currently running a business at this particular time, then, you know, you may see uh, your profits go up in the next two week period of time. So I like that energy. All right. King of Pentacles. It also could represent a, a relationship. A new relationship but now this could be a romantic relationship or it could be a, a formation of a business partnership with someone all right it's linking or mirroring the king of um, cups the king of cups is here and he's holding a cat so I know I'm talking to some Libras who are pet owners specifically cats so that could be the case it's just you know something that I'm uh, picking up at, at this moment looking at the imagery but this is a court card. And of course, with the King of Pentacles, that could represent female energies just as well as this King of Cups could represent uh, female energies. Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, male individuals come in to play. And because it's mirroring this King of Cups, it could be a relationship of any type. It could be, a, you know, a relationship that's, you know, family King of Cups representing intuition, someone with a loving heart, very emotional, but emotionally stable when it's in the upright position. Um, so it could be almost anything. But also, too, it's it's the energy that I'm feeling that for you, uh, Libra, especially those who are celebrating their birthdays during this uh, two week period of time. This could be just the King of Cups energy, you know, feeling good, emotionally and satisfied. Um you know, because it is your birthday and there's people, you know, that are loving and supportive of you. You know, your family members, this could represent a father, mother, it could be, you know, anyone really that's close to you, but they're in support of you. And also to just to jump around a little bit, the Ace of Wands, which is always related to things fast approaching, coming in. Uh, news and surprises when it's in the upright position. So this could be a direct link again to someone who is celebrating their birthday and someone gets a surprise for their birthday and it could come from a father, come, could, excuse me, could come from a mother uh, or a family member or friend. All right. Wands representing, uh, you know, the fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, male or female. Uh, but this is news coming in. Now this here, uh, let me just show you. The Ace of Wands. It shows a pen, a writing pen. This could represent gifts being received in those forms. You know, something to do with a very uh, eloquent writing pen someone receives. It could be uh, there's prints and paintings on the wall. Someone could receive a uh, print or a painting or a portrait of themselves. Someone could also receive <laughs> furniture. <laughs> there's chairs here. And... Um, the surprise would be uh, what's hidden in the closet. If you can see the closet and it's closed. So that's what's inside the closet. And it's a surprise. It could be almost anything. That could be, be the relationship. Okay. As I mentioned before, it could be romantic. It could be uh, platonic. It could be just something that happens within the family. But I feel though this two week period of time is really, really some good energy here. Because you have a lot of court cards, number one. And what's in between the uh kings king of pentacles and king of cups is the four of wands so this is the four of wands and this of course it represents uh always a relocation a new home uh someone could be purchasing a new home following the king of pentacles someone could be uh relocating to a different area and it's job related uh someone could be doing those things that i mentioned and it's um some other type of relationship related romantic this energy could come towards you, not necessarily Libra, you know, having to go to these places. This is the energy that I'm feeling that could possibly come towards you, especially with the Ace of Wands as a new beginning or a fresh start in some area. Uh, but it's, you know, coming very fast, fast approaching and uh, very quickly. That's the Wands energy. It represents speed. Mm. Eight of Pentacles is following this King of Cups. In the upright position so this is again security stability uh some of you may be work you know focused on your work uh building on um whatever it is that you're doing 
Uh, this could also be, uh, you know, like building or saving for some sort of later date in terms of investment. So this could represent savings. Again, it represents uh, Capricorn, Virgo, um, Taurus, male or female. So I feel that this is, you know, um, for some of you uh, paying attention to the details of your work during this two week period of time, because it looks like this guy is um, doing some type of work or he could be reading, but he's very detailed oriented in whatever it is that he's doing. I'm trying to figure out why there's a skeleton here <laughs> behind him, uh, but uh, I'm not trying to dig too deep into these cards uh, since this is the very first time that I am using uh, the cards. There's an inkwell and the inkwell, it, this mirrors the uh, Ace of Wands. So again, someone could be gifted. Someone could be writing uh, something that's very important. Someone may have to write up a proposal for business or there's a request for you to write up a proposal for business. All right. Two of Swords is your energy again. And there's some sort of conflict uh, with uh, some of you. There may be a conflict, with, but it's minor. I feel that it's minor. It may be just connected to uh, the energy of the Eight of Pentacles, and I'm attaching it to the Ace of Wands. If there is something going on, uh, it represents two. So it might be uh, conflict, uh, conflicting energy with another person. Uh, this particular image, there's someone who's trying to get in or open the door. And someone has a key on the other side trying to uh, unlock the door. So I don't know if this one on the other side is trying to prevent the person from uh, entrance. And that's, you know, the cause of the conflict or something that's going on with that energy. Normally, it's that uh, the energy represents you being at a crossroad, feeling like you're conflicted, but it's minor, just a minor bit or a touch of anxiety. Um, choices to make. All right. So this, you know, the swords represents decision making. So it might be someone is conflicted. Uh, and then also, too, because it's underneath the, uh, you know, the business card the king of pentacles it might be a choice to make when it comes to uh again a job you know a business proposal or some sort of business uh energy and association the queen of uh oh you have the queen of cups so that is a relationship all right now of course the queen being older I always pick up the older type of feel but it, it's representing a rate uh, relationship for me this could be a new relationship. It's preceding the Ace of Wands. So it could be that there's a startup of a relationship for some of you uh, very quickly. Ace of Cups. I'm sorry, the Queen of Cups. But for whatever reason, this Queen of Cups is in. looks like she's standing in the corner and she's sobbing. So I feel that this could be a happy type of sobbing. Okay. Um but it also could represent some sort I don't want to say a disappointment, especially because the Queen of Cups in the upright position doesn't give me that type of feel. Someone could be just very happy or emotionally content and satisfied along with that King of Cups uh, with the cat. You know, he's holding the cat uh, could be a family pet. Um, but also, too, I just feel that, you know, this is part of your intuition. Pay attention to your intuition, especially because we have both the queen and the king of cups here, which always is all about intuition. Uh, it's also, too, about, you know, emotional support, great love, not only for self, but also great love for uh, family members, friends and potential romantic partnerships. Or it could be current romantic partnerships now she's underneath the four of wands which always represents um for me cohabitation um you know but it's a happiness card it's a happiness card so i don't know why she's underneath this four of wands and she's sobbing maybe it's something to do with you know someone purchasing a home or having to move and you know it could be that uh, she's sobbing because she's moving from where 
Uh, she lived to another place, but that doesn't necessarily, well, there's always this detachment type of feel when uh, you've been living somewhere for a long period of time and then, you know, you come attached to where you are and then you have to move into a different area. So I don't know. I'm just throwing out examples, uh, but I still feel that, you know, generally overall, this reading is very positive uh, for most Libras that I'm reading for. So I hope it opens up and bodes well for you. Just know that uh, the Seven of Swords energy uh, doesn't necessarily care. It is the theme or the energy for some of you for the two week period of time, but it doesn't carry the weight of the entire, um, you know, two week period, especially with all of this uh, positive stuff that I have uh, drawn for you. The Ace of Wands. OK, King of Cups, King of Pentacles, Queen of Cups. So we have a lot of good energy here, even with the Two of Swords. Uh, with some sort of minor conflicting energy, um, you know, it's a, it, it might be for someone that I'm reading for is a toss up or a struggle, uh, but it's possibly related to a choice between two different things. OK, and that could be almost anything Two people to, um, you know, like I said earlier, to uh, business propositions. It could be a choice of a job or decision to make about a job if there's a, you know, um, promotion or relocation and this is probably why she's sobbing because you might have to move to a different area to get to this new job uh this king of pentacles also too if i didn't mention it is a, a form of a promotion so someone could be getting promoted uh where they currently work into a higher position okay all right so that's what i have for you libra uh for the single libras that i have uh selected uh for you from the rebel deck is it's not everyone's fault. It's yours. On the reverse side, it says you are a grown ass adult. Stop blaming others for your shit. Now, that's going out for anyone who needs to hear that message. All right. <laughs> for the uh, coupled Libras, the message for you I have uh, selected for you is family shit is getting on your nerves. On the reverse side, it says have each other's back. All right, Libra, that's what I have for you. Please be safe during this uh, two-week period of time. Always emphasizing that safety. Sh throwing out a lot of love and light to you all till I talk to you again. Enjoy your birthdays. Take care. Bye.